Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I am meal prepping even though I'm leaving on Wednesday. I am doing a fall inspired meal prep and I'm really excited about it. Troy is excited about it as well because he'll be eating a lot of my meal prep while I'm on my trip to Texas. So if you're excited to see the three fall inspired recipes, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on. I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below where you will find my recipe website that is where you will find all three of today's recipes. Calories, macros, and points are all on my website. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I highly, highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I've lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's head on into my kitchen for this fall meal prep. For breakfast this week, I am making pumpkin bread, and this is kind of a crumbly pumpkin bread. I'm really excited for this. I'm going to pair this with some protein and some fruit. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need light butter, brown sugar substitute of your choice. This, you know, is my go-to. I love Lakanto. This is the golden, so this is their brown sugar version. They have granulated and powdered as well. I do have a 15% off discount code for Lakanto. I'll link it down below for you. I'm going to sub the flour in the recipe with my new favorite flour from Fiber Gourmet. 55% less calories, packed with fiber, packed with protein. I'm obsessed with this flour. I'm so glad that I found it. I actually bought this off of Nettrition, so that's the same place I buy the Fiber Gourmet pasta. I do have a discount, 10% off for Nettrition. I used to not have a discount and they finally gave me one, so I'll link it down below for you. I can't recommend this flour enough and I can't recommend the Fiber Gourmet pasta. This is 50% less points and calories than regular flour and performs exactly the same way. I'm also going to use Lakanto granulated, unsweetened applesauce, eggs, salt, baking soda, baking powder, pumpkin pie spice, pumpkin puree, and vanilla extract. So to get started on our pumpkin bread, the first thing we're going to do is add our dry ingredients to a large bowl. So I have one and three quarters cup of the fiber gourmet flour, half of a cup of Lakanto granulated, and a quarter cup of Lakanto golden. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt, quite a bit of pumpkin pie spice. I'm going to do about a tablespoon and a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda. And then give that a stir and combine everything. Then we're going to add one quarter cup of melted light butter, one cup of pumpkin puree, called for a third cup of coconut oil. I'm subbing that with unsweetened applesauce and then it called for a quarter cup of applesauce. So I'm doing both of those as unsweetened applesauce rather than using any coconut oil. I'm going to add some vanilla extract and two eggs. and then stir our bread mixture together. I went ahead and sprayed my bread pan with some nonstick cooking spray and we're going to add the mixture. Spread that out nice and even in the bottom of your pan and then set this aside while we put together the crumble topping. For the crumble, we're doing one and a quarter cup of our fiber gourmet flour, half of a cup of Lakanto Golden, and a quarter cup of Lakanto granulated. And then I melted down half of a cup of light butter. Add that and stir it all together. What you're looking for is again, like a crumbly topping, a crumble mixture to top our pumpkin bread. I almost forgot the pumpkin pie spice for the crumble. I went ahead and added some pumpkin pie spice as well. And then again, just stir until you get a crumbly mix. Then we're going to take that crumble and put it right on top of our pumpkin bread. And then just kind of press it in place with your spoon so that we have a nice crumble on top, but it's also set into the bread mixture itself. 
Look how good this looks. This is going in a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes or until it is cooked through. So the crumble pumpkin bread is out of the oven. This took a good 40 minutes in my oven to cook. Just pay special attention to it. I inserted a toothpick, it came out clean, so it is done. It looks incredible. I mean, bakery vibes, fall vibes. I am so incredibly excited for this all week. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For lunch, I'm making a chicken bacon ranch spaghetti squash, but I'm actually going to substitute the chicken with some ground turkey. It's I already have it on hand. It's thawed, ready to go. So you could do chicken breast, ground turkey, ground chicken. I mean, really you can put whatever protein source you want, but this is a five ingredient, very simple recipe. So what you're going to need is a large spaghetti squash, salt and pepper, bacon of your choice. I'm using this fully cooked, ready to go bacon. And again, I'm substituting a pound of 99% ground turkey, chicken, ground chicken, whatever you would like. And then you'll need some light ranch dressing. So the first thing I'm going to do is brown my ground turkey. You would also, if you're using chicken breast, cook those and dice it up. And then I'm going to throw my bacon in the microwave, get it nice and crispy. So I have my turkey all browned up, set aside. Also four slices of bacon cooked and crumbled. So I went ahead and cut my spaghetti squash in half, gutted it, took out all the seeds and stringy things, added a teaspoon of avocado oil, salt and pepper. This is going into a 400 degree oven until it is cooked through, probably between 30 and 40 minutes. So for the spaghetti squash bacon ranch goodness, you're going to need a large bowl. We're going to add our cooked meat, whatever you chose. Again, chicken, ground turkey, whatever it is that you're using. You could even use ground beef. And then we're going to add our four slices of crumbled up bacon. So I just pulled the cooked spaghetti squash out. Doesn't that look amazing? I'm going to allow it to cool for a few minutes, then we'll shred it with a fork. and mix the spaghetti squash in with the chicken and the bacon. And then lastly, we're going to add in our ranch dressing. It's a very, very simple recipe. The time consuming piece is just cooking that squash. I was going to let you know that you could even cook your spaghetti squash in the microwave if that's a little bit easier for you. I just like the way that it comes out a little more roasted, brown and crispy kind of from the oven. So let's go ahead and add in our ranch. So I have half of a cup of light ranch. You could use any light or fat free or full fat ranch of your choosing. And then again, give it one last mix. The recipe does say to top it with some parsley before serving. I'm excited for this. This is going to give us a carb, lots of protein, a fat with the bacon, and then we have that yumminess of ranch. So that is the chicken, AKA turkey, bacon ranch spaghetti squash. So here is our lunch completed, packed up, and ready for the week. This entire bowl makes only four servings, so you're going to get a big serving packed with protein. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For a sweet treat this week, I'm making baked apple cider donuts. We are channeling all fall in this week's meal prep and I couldn't be more happy about it. So let me show you what you'll need for our donuts. Again, you'll need flour of your choice. Of course, I'm using my fiber gourmet. I cannot recommend this flour enough. And again, it's purchased on Nutrition. I'll link it down below for you. Apple cider vinegar, Lakanto granulated. Again, I have a 15% off discount for Lakanto. It is also in the description box. Unsweetened applesauce, vanilla extract, baking powder, salt, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And then of course you'll need a donut pan. I forgot to mention that you'll need apple cider for apple cider donuts. So this is just sweet and delicious apple cider from Kroger. Before the apple cider donuts, super easy. I'm going to add one cup of my fiber gourmet flour, one third cup of my apple cider, three tablespoons unsweetened applesauce, quarter cup Lakanto granulated, vanilla extract, pinch of salt, one teaspoon apple cider vinegar, cinnamon and nutmeg, and then one teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're going to stir all of that together. Go ahead and pull out your donut pan and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. 
I'm going to transfer my donut mixture into a Ziploc bag and then cut off the tip. That'll be the easiest way to squeeze it into the donut pan. Then I'm just going to squeeze my batter into the donut pan. You could spoon it in as well. One of you guys recommended this method the last time I made donuts and I'll tell you right off the bat, this is much, much easier. going into an oven for about at 350 degrees for about eight minutes. So I just pulled the donuts out. These look so good. I did mix up some Lakanto granulated and cinnamon and I'm just going to sprinkle that right on top of the donuts and then we'll allow these to cool completely and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. And here are the apple cider donuts. These smell so good. Between these and the pumpkin bread, it is fall in here and these, adding a little bit of cinnamon and sugar just adds some nice texture. These are nice and fluffy. You don't need to buy donuts at the donut shop, make them at home. You can add protein to them. You can use the fiber gourmet flour for fiber and protein and you have perfect donuts. for this fall inspired meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. I will tell you I've tried all of it and it is incredible. Every single one of them, 10 out of 10. I actually gave my in-laws some of the pumpkin bread and she said it was one of the best she's tried. So highly recommend all three recipes. Don't forget my recipe website is in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Come and join us. We would love to have you. Give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe. It really helps me out, pushes my video out into YouTube. So I appreciate it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.